Hey everyone, it's Patty from PS Paper Crafts. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I wanted to show you how to make uh, four cards. They're cute and simple cards using the Easter Friends. Easter is in another week and a half, so uh, hopefully you have this set and you have the papers or you can switch it up and just use the designs. So I'm using the Pansy Petal. I thought this paper was really pretty. I'm using the gingham and then another sheet um, as well. And I thought they just went really well with the Easter Friends. So let's get started. I the uh, This is in the mini catalog, so it's still available. Uh, some of the products, the paper is actually on the retiring list and it is on sale. So if you don't have it, it's a beautiful paper to have. So let's get started with the first one. I have my pieces cut. So this is a uh, piece of thick Whisper White cardstock. I cut out the... Um, designer paper, the Pansy Petals, and I use this largest um, die from the Scallop Contours, and then I use the middle, the third die down um, for this one. Very simple card. Um, we're going to do some stamping with the little chick. I think he's so cute. All of these I'm stamping with Smoky Slate ink. I wanted to get, I guess the bunny I'm doing in a brown ink, but I wanted to get just a light color and I am coloring with the Stampin' Blends, which I know usually I use um, the Black Memento, but for this card, I decided I'm going to use the uh, the regular stamping <laughs> stamp pads, and I'm just gonna be very careful when I color. I'm also going to stamp on here the Happy Easter, and if you notice, it's too big, so I'm gonna do Happy and Easter separate. Now, there's a lot of space here. You can cut these in half. You can mask this with a piece of post-it note, or you can just be very careful about how you put it in your stamp pad. So let's just do the masking. And it's not gonna stick. Let's see. So we just wanna get the happy. Let me get another one. For some reason, that is not working out. So let's put this on Easter, otherwise I'll get my post-it tape. I think maybe that one was just, uh... <laughs> all right, we got comedy hour coming here. Let's try the post-it tape. There's always something that doesn't go right. So let's put this over the Easter. So this is the tape um, that I use for die cutting. So let's just stamp this or ink it. So now we only have ink on the happy. I'm going to put this right up here. And then we want to be careful with this. We want to make sure we um, clean it before we do the Easter because we don't want to get any residual ink on it. So clean it nice and good. And then let's just try the Easter without the tape. So I'm just going to go by the sticker in the back. And it looks like I got a little bit of ink on the Y. Let's hope for the best here. Perfect. So I have Happy Easter. And then I want to stamp some grass. And I am using Soft Succulent on another card, so I figured I would use it here as well. And I think I might want to stamp it off first because it is a little dark for this card, I think. Um... So let's see the grass. We're just going to ink it and stamp it off and then put it here and just do it a couple of times. Okay, so he's just walking through the grass and let's color our little guy here. So I'm using the Stampin' Blends. I'm using uh, the Daffodil Delight, and I'll color the little chick in the Daffodil Delight. Do you remember when you were kids? I don't know, when I was kids, people used to go, I don't know if they still do it, to the farm, and they always had chicks at Easter or baby ducks. And um, some people took them home and I guess put them under a, a light bulb. We never did that, but I remember that was a thing back in the day. And we're using the Dark Daffodil Delight for the beak and the little feet. So I just think this is a very sweet card. And 
I love the stamp set. I think it's really has some beautiful images. And now let's just put this down. Before we put it down, I want to um, use some of the Bumblebee ribbon. So this is also on sale. Bumblebee is a retiring color and it matches this. I don't know if it's too busy. I think it's okay for me. So I'm just going to, before I put this layer down, I like to feed it in kind of about halfway or maybe a little bit toward the top, wherever you want. You feed it in and then we'll just tape it on the back. Very easy, isn't that pretty on the back? I love this paper. I love the whole pansy thing. Pansies just make me um, happy when I see them. To me, they look like they're smiling at you. And then the the smaller ones I used to have, the, I think they're called violas, and they were tiny and they were so pretty as well. So let's put this down with some liquid glue. And I'm not gonna go out to the outer edges of the scallop. I don't think we need to do that. And if you wanted to pop this up, you could. I'm gonna pop up the next layer. So there we go. Very pretty. And now this will just sit right on top of it. And I'm gonna move it around a little bit over here because I wanna put a bow there. So let's put some dimensionals on this one. And then we'll have our first card pretty much done. Very easy. I'm putting the dimensionals on the top and the bottom. I'm gonna to try to stay away from the middle. I don't like to go over the rib ribbon, although this is a very thin ribbon. Some of the bulkier ribbons, you, you don't want your dimensionals to go on top of them. Oop. So I can't believe Easter is right here. It seemed like it was so far away. Um, you know, the end of April. I mean, it's a week and a half away, but still, Palm Sunday is this Sunday, and then it'll be Easter. The weeks go by so fast. So here we go. We'll just put this down a little bit to the left. There we go. And let's just tie a simple bow. I love this ribbon. I'm sad it's retiring. I like a gingham look. I think it's pretty. And you could even color this if you wanted to get a different color with your Stampin' Blends. Let's go a little bit. Okay, and let's get a glue dot. And we can just take it off with our Take Your Pick tool and put it right back here. Put this down right here. Isn't that sweet? I think I want to cut a little bit more off of this one. I never can get my tails right. <laughs> I have a problem with my tails. There we go. Okay, so do we need to put some bling on it? I think we just leave it the way it is. You can put some of the um, what I'm using for the other cards are the in colors, and I think you could put some of the um, pale papaya, but I'm gonna leave it as is. I think it's really cute. So this is the first card. For the second card, I am using the gingham paper. So we've got a gingham thing going on here, right? So I'm using the thick white card stock, stock as well, and I have um, this fresh freesia paper. And isn't that pretty? That would be cute for an Easter card as well. Very nice. And I have a little um, circle, so I'm using the layering circle dies with this one. And I thought I had them out. Here they are. So I'm using the uh, second largest for the scallop circle, and I think it's the third largest for the white circle. And I will have project sheets on my blog for all of these cards, so you don't have to worry about measurements or anything like that. I'll have it all laid out, and you can print it out, it's PDF. It's a new thing I'm doing, and I think it's very helpful. So we're going to lay this down here, and before I lay it down, let's see if we wanna put ribbon on this one. 
we are going to, I think I won't do the ribbon on this one. We'll do some jewels. So I'm doing this as we go. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> Not that I don't know, but I'm winging it. I have ideas, but I haven't made these cards yet. Usually I make them first. So this one, I'm going to use crumb cake. I want a little brown rip, uh, bunny. And we're just gonna stamp him in the circle. Now, of course, he's way bigger than the circle or she, he or she. So we'll just stamp it. Isn't that cute? Now we will color it. You don't have to. I mean, it looks good on its own. Let's see. But let's try coloring it. And I'm going to use the light crumb cake. So I'm only going to color the shaded part. I don't want to color. I want to leave some white. And I'm just going to very lightly color it in. Let's get it off of here so we don't get any ink on that. And I'm really going where these darker lines are just to fill it in. Isn't that sweet? I love seeing the bunnies around here. They, um, they sit on the side of the road when I'm walking the dog. And of course my dog never sees it until it moves. You know, they sit still until you get near it. And they're so cute and they remind me of the chocolate bunnies. They just sit so still. And I always think of the chocolate bunnies that we used to get. Let's see, right like that. Very simple, not a lot to it. And we want to mount this on here and we'll put this together. Let's do our sentiment. So I just used this with the uh, smoky slate ink. So I'm gonna clean it. And I don't know if I want to use the brown ink. I think I might use fresh freesia. Let me get that. Let's do the fresh freesia ink just to make it all match. And he's just brown on its own. I guess you could make him a pink, pink Easter bunny. But that might be a little weird. So this is a three quarter inch piece. And I am going to use one of my favorite tools. I use this all the time. You can fussy cut this or hand cut it if you want. But I am going to use the um, Banner's Pick a Punch. So you can do a banner or a point. And I always turn it over. I'm going to do a banner. I feel like it's not in there right. There we go. And I'm just going to punch just the edge of it. Okay, I guess I did that a little bit tight, a little bit toward the edge, but that's okay. And then we're going to cut this, and we'll do the other side. And again, I'm just going to make it just at the edge. Oh, that might be a little close. I think it's okay. So now we're going to do the same thing with this one. And it doesn't matter the first cut that we make. And this is an inch. We're just going to push it. And let's do it like this. And we'll put this end. And I'm kind of eyeballing it. You can try to stick it together and pull it out. Not stick it together, but hold it together. And then... Um, try to get it lined up better, but I'm winging it. There we go. I think that looks good, right? So let's put this down. We'll put all our pieces down. We're gonna pop this up once we have it layered. Whoops. <laughs> all right. Let's go right like this. So we've got a rim around it. And let's do the same with the Easter Bunny, the sweet, sweet bunny. So cute. And let's put this down. We're just really putting all the pieces down. Oh, and I didn't do an inside on that card. We'll have to do our insides as well. And 
and now we can pop this up just like that. So we'll get some dimensionals and pop them both up. Isn't that sweet? My dog is barking. I'm waiting for my order to come with the new in colors. I, I rush ordered that and that might be here. I hear the dog barking like crazy. And then the rest of my order will come after. But I wanted to get my hands on the new in colors. They're so pretty, they're gorgeous. So let's put this down here. And on this one, let's add some jewels. So the in color jewels have the um, fresh freesia color. So let's put one right here. And I, I'm not going to put one down on this because I think it's a little too tight. I probably should have had more room with the sentiment. So we'll just put the three like that. Very cute. So let's do the inside on both cards because I missed the first one. So let's get rid of this. I've got these dimensionals just everywhere. They're so crazy. So on this one, I think I'm just going to do the bunny again. Or maybe I'll do a chick on this one. I may do a chick on a few of them because I think the chick is just adorable. So let's get our smoky slate. And just put him down here. And then let's also, let's do the fresh freesia. And I'm just trying to think of which so happy Easter, sending warm and happy wishes this spring. Uh, may all your days blossom with joy and happiness. I think I'll do that one. So I don't even have it mounted. That's this one. Let me get it mounted. I wasn't thinking about the insides, but you probably want to see the insides, right? I may use this for all of them. Very cute. Okay, so let's color in the little chicky, chickadee. Okay, let's put these together, get them out of the way, and then we'll have to do the other, the other one as well. So I like to put my insides on with the stamp and seal. I keep talking about my insides. It sounds like <laughs> I'm talking inside of me or something. The guts, right? The inside of your card, the inside layer. Okay, very cute. Let's go back and do this one. And we'll do uh, the same little chick. Now these cards will go to different people, so it doesn't matter if they look the same right you're not going to give it to the same person so let's do another little gray chick so we have two more cards to do a little gray chick and let's do the same sentiment i'm just going to clean it off because i am going to do it in gray now i could do um bumblebee but i think gray is pretty I like this gray. Smoky slate. Let's get everything out of the way. All right. So we'll put this in and we'll have two cards completely done, insides and everything. I'm saving the, I'm not going to call it hard, but the, I guess there's more to it. The last card. Oh, we didn't color it. We got to color it. How did I do that? So let's do a quick color. Okay, phew. It's a good thing I didn't make a mistake on that. I would have to cover it up. So two cards, two to go. Okay, the third card, I'm using the other gingham piece. 
And I think it would look nice this way as well. And I'm using soft succulent, but I'm gonna go with this. And I have this piece, and again, I have all the measurements on my blog, pspapercrafts.com. And this time we're using the cutest little ducky. He makes me very happy, just like dancing or something. <laughs> um, so we're gonna do the gray again. And we'll just put it right here. So sweet. And let's do some grass. And we'll do the soft succulent grass again. And I'm going to get another piece of scrap. Full of my things. Let's get rid of them. <laughs> I know what I'm going to do. This I'm using a lot when I do my cutting. See all these little pieces? They were from the scallops from this. And I just wiped it across my um, cutting plate and all those pieces came off. It was so easy. I love that idea. That was a Jennifer McGuire idea, not mine. So let's do this one straight on and then we'll go a, a second time and kind of mix it all in. So he's dancing in the grass. Okay, and I'm trying to think, let's do the sentiment, the happy Easter. Do we wanna do a different sentiment? Because it's, it's big, sending warm and happy wishes this spring. Let's do that one. And then it's a little bit bigger, and then we can do the Happy Easter on the inside. How's that sound? Again, we're figuring it out as we go. So for sending warm and happy wishes this spring, I just want to make sure I've got it straight. Okay. Cute. Happy wishes. So let's color. Now I'm going to color this one in with the pale, pale papaya. So I'll do the light pale papaya on the duck itself. And again, I'm not doing any shading. I'm letting the shading stand on its own. I love the stamps that have the shading already kind of as part of the stamp. Makes me happy because I am not an artist. And that's why I love to stamp because I can just let somebody else do the artwork and I just stamp it and color it or whatever makes it easy. There we go. And one of the best things about stamping up just to plug it is that everything coordinates. You have, you know, paper and ink and um, ribbon and gems and all kinds of things that just coordinate so nicely together so you don't have to think about it it's really nice there we go isn't he so cute Aww. so now we're just going to put our pieces together and i think we'll put some gems on this one okay there we go and this is a top folding. So this one is four and a quarter by um, 11, and then we score it at five and a half. So it's called a top folding. And let's put this down. I think this side is so pretty too, these leaves. And we'll put this right here. Get it all nice and straight. Okay. And there's a little bit hanging over, and I'll just run to my um, trimmer and cut that off. Not a problem. Now let's put this down. And we'll just center it top to bottom. Okay, now let's put some gems on this guy. So we have the um, pale papaya, and then we also have the 
soft succulent. So I think I'm going to use the soft succulent because that's one of my favorites. And I'm just going to take this and take the putty end and pick them up. So, and this is where I have my, <laughs> if you follow me, I just don't know how to do this random thing. It just doesn't, doesn't work for me. Random. I'm an even Steven kind of person. So let's see, we need one more. Oh, round and round. I'm going to just put it right there because you need to have, see now I don't like that. I'll put this one down here. I don't know. I'm leaving it. I'm an even kind of Steven kind of person, so I really have a hard time with the random stuff. Now I'm wondering if I should have this cut a little smaller on the inside. I think I might do that. I'll be right back. Okay, so what I decided was I'm going to make it, this is three and three quarters wide. Um, so I decided, and then I made it five and a half, and then I just took off maybe a sixteenth of an inch so that it would fold nicely. So I don't want it, you know, if you have it up there and then it doesn't fold, it's a little bulky. So we'll have it down a little bit. So now we want to put Happy Easter. We need to clean this because we use the other color. See that? <laughs> I have these everywhere. I should just have my little trash bin right next to me. I pick something up and it picks that up, right? So let's do this in the soft succulent. And should we do another duck? Duckling? How cute. Happy Easter. I'm going to put it up high because this duck is pretty big. And then let's do the duck again in the gray. So cute. Let's take him. And just put him right down there. Okay, let's color him. And we're doing the pale papaya again. We'll do the light color for the whole body. This one just makes me happy. It looks like he's dancing. Ready to see the last card. He's dancing with all the chicks. We're gonna make a slimline card. And it's the duck with all the chicks. All right, let's just do the dark for the beak and his uh, webbed feet. There we go. Very sweet. So let's put this down on the inside and we have three cards done. We'll do one more and we'll call it a day. My son, I'm going to see him for Easter, and he asked me to bring Easter cards. And I was like, oh, I have a couple. I don't know how many he wants. I always send him cards to give to people. I'm his, uh, his Hallmark store. But I'm glad because I, I, like, I like to share. Okay, three cards. Let's do the last one. Okay, and as I said, the last one is going to be a slimline card. And we have these slimline envelopes, which are really great. And you get three different colors. Um, you get a gray, what is that? Uh, I think it's Smoky Slate, which is what we've been using. And Soft Succulent. And then a white. So I would use white with this because I'm using Granny Apple Green. And we're going to do just one thing that's a little bit, um, it's not hard. It's just a, a little bit different. We're going to emboss this strip. Instead of stamping the grass, I wanted the, the strip to look like it was um, grass. So I'm using the stripes and splatters embossing folders. And it's a small one. And I don't want the grass this way. I want it this way. So I have to run it through a few times. 
but it's very easy to do. So let me get my machine out. So I have my uh, stamp and cut and emboss machine and I'm using this gray plate because this is a 3D embossing folder. This is um, three quarters of an inch and the top is, let's see, this is eight and um, a quarter long and then the card is eight and a half long and they fit perfectly in those. So I'm going to feed this in a few times. And you have to use your big machine, even though this is a little folder, because you're going to be putting it in this way. So I'll put it on here, and I'm going to put my top plate on, and I'm not going to run it all the way through. I'm just going to run it till I think it's through. <laughs> and this is a little guessing, and you're going to just keep embossing it this way and trying to get all the, the, the whole thing embossed. So see, isn't that cool? So it went so far, and then we just want to put this kind of in a groove. It doesn't have to be exact. And now we'll run it through again. And we'll get this part. And I'm going to actually push it through. Let's see. I don't want that. I don't want to keep embossing the same part over and over again. So I'm going to put that through a little bit and then run this. Oops, sorry about that. And then we're gonna do the last part and we're gonna just flip it. So see, it just kind of gives it that look. I didn't wanna go all the way through and get a crease in it, but that's okay, because we're gonna boss it again. So now we want this just like that. Sometimes you can fit it right in the groove where it was but it really doesn't matter. And now we're just gonna run it through again. And I can see it on the edge. So I'm gonna go through and through. I'm trying not to make it pop. <laughs> and I apologize for the noise. Okay, so that's done. So that was the worst part of this card. Not the worst part, but the more difficult, I guess, if you want to call it that. So now we have our layers. And again, I'll have it all in my uh, blog. I'll have a project sheet. So I'm going to just lay this right here across the bottom. And I'm going to take a pencil because I want to know where to stamp. And I'm just going to lightly draw along here. And now we're going to stamp this little duck and the chicks all across the bottom on the line and I'm going to have him starting off kind of on an angle so that his foot is right like this so he's kind of skipping along okay and then we'll just have the chicks he's kind of gathering up the chicks here now I guess you could do it the other way and have the chicks following him so whichever way you like And I think we'll do one more chick. So cute. Now we want to erase this and color everybody in. So I'm using basically the same colors for the chicks and the, uh, the duckling. Okay, let's do a quick color. The light first. And then we'll do the dark for the beak and the feet. And this is the pale papaya. And now let's do the chicks and we'll do them in the light yellow, the white light um, daffodil delight. And then we'll do their beaks and their legs in the dark daffodil delight. And it's okay if you get the light in the beak um, while you're coloring because the dark will just darken it up. All right, let's do the dark. And for the beaks and the feet, I'm using the more of the bullet tip. And I'm just dotting these. I'm not really coloring them. I don't want to go out of the lines. So now let's put this strip down and I'm just wondering if I should put it, pop it up and I think I want to go 
I'm wondering if I should go a little bit higher so that they're touching and then just cut the strip off the bottom. I think I might do that. All right, I am gonna put it down with the liquid glue and then I'm just gonna trim off that bottom part. And you can do this way as well, whichever side you want. So we'll just put a little liquid glue here. I just wanna get it on the top and the bottom. Okay, I'm kind of messy with that, right? But I think I'm just gonna shift it up a little bit so it's not so far from their feet. You know, they're a little crooked the way I stamped them, but that's okay. Let me just get my trimmer. I'm just gonna trim the edge. I hope I don't ruin it. <laughs> Okay, there we go. You can always cut your card down if you need to, if you have a little bit of an edge. Nobody's gonna know that it's a 16th of an inch off. And I'm wondering if we should um, pop this whole thing up. And then the other thing I wanted to do was the Happy Easter. So I think I'll put the Happy Easter down and then pop the whole thing up. And I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. So we can actually just stamp the Happy Easter right on here if we feel that <laughs> we're not going to make a mistake. hate to go all the way through this and then it doesn't stamp well, right? I was going to put it on with one of these. So I'm going to stamp it right on and if we have a problem, I'll just cover it up with a label. I hate to put a stamp down after I've done all this work and have it be a problem. But this seems to be stamping pretty well. All right, the H is a little bit off, but I am gonna leave it. See it? So what I can do is I can just pop it up. But I think I will just draw it one second. So let's try our smoky slate marker, and I'm just gonna draw the top of the H. Nobody will know, except for you guys. So let's pop this up, and the way I'm gonna do that is I'm going to use some of my um, foam adhesive. And these are great. It's a whole like huge um, dimensional but it really makes it nice and solid and um, so that it's kind of secure. So we're gonna just put this down and then we'll put this one down here and I'll do one more strip right here. It's a little bit shorter, but I think it's okay. So these, and then I'll just save this for another card, another another day. And we'll just take the backs off. Now the key with this is you've got to get it right the first time, because once it goes down, you really can't pick it up very easily. There we go. So cute, isn't it? So happy. <laughs> so let's do our inside sentiment again. And do we want to sending warm and happy wishes this spring? Or may your days blossom with joy and happiness. I think I'm going to do this one. Not sure what color it is. So we're going to just clean it up. And should we put a chick or a duck? I wish I was live, you could answer me. I'm gonna think about it. Let's see. 
I think the duck would be cute again, right? So let's put this down. You could put a chick and a duck. I think I'm going to just put the duck. One last thing. And again, I'm going to tilt him so he looks like he's kind of walking or dancing or whatever he's doing. And we'll just quick color him in. Oops, this is the, dark, the light dark. I want the light first. All right, all colored in and let's get our inside put in place. These slimline cards are so great and I love that we have the envelopes that go with them now. I was just using, you know, a letter size envelope and it was really too big for them. So these are cute. So the, um, the flap actually is pretty. So let's take one out. Isn't that cute? And this will just go in here and I can um, decorate it if I want. So these are the cards. Let's get all this other stuff out of the way and show the cards. So this was our first one, our second one, the third one, and the final one. And again, you can bling them up if you want to or just leave them. Um, as is. So thanks for joining me. I hope you, uh, if you have this set, you try one of these cards. You can use different paper, as I said. And if you don't have this set, you can use the style and another set. All right, you have a good day. Thanks.